excited about today's format, okay? Um, I've always had a stability ball, as long as I can remember, in my home. I use it as a chair in my office. Um, I've got a set of weights and I've got a kettlebell. If you don't have a ball or a kettlebell, it is no big deal. Just use whatever you've got, okay? I just wanted to give you a little bit of a variety this morning, okay? And shake things up just a little bit. So for cardio, I'm planning on using the stability ball and the kettlebell or just your own body, okay? And then I'm going to incorporate the kettlebell and maybe a set of weights into this routine. So I love the stability ball. It's my favorite piece of exercise equipment to keep at home. And then I've always got a set of weights. And then the kettlebell is just like the bells and whistles. Woo! Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this workout. It's a 60-minute workout. You can do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you want. You can save the video up in the right-hand corner, okay? So I just welcome you to class this morning. Here's a scripture verse. It's from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Keep your eyes on Jesus. That's simple, right? That's the theme for this class today. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus, who began and finished the race that's set before us, right? He's already won. The victory is already there. You just have to walk in it. So here's the deal, okay? A lot of stuff going on in the world, right? A lot of stuff, okay? Good, bad, ugly, just a lot of stuff. The enemy of our soul, Satan, wants to take our eyes, get them distracted, put them on something else, and get them off of God right? The word for us today, keep your focus. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and pray, and we're going to start again with the cardio today. I'm going to use the stability ball. You know you don't have to. I'm going to give you options, as I always do, okay? So no excuse workout. You can still do this workout without all the bells and whistles. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you, Father, for who you are. Father, we want our eyes to maintain focus on you. We want to be able to see what you want us to see, Father. So we ask, Lord, that you would give us clear vision, and that our ears would be open to hear your voice, that our hearts would be fully open and exposed before you as you come in and search them and show us, Father, those things that need to uh, get out of there. Father, we praise you. We honor you. Father, less of us, Lord, less of us, less talk of ourselves, and more of you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Okay, I'm going to start my music. It's on my computer. I will meet you right back here for the warm-up, again, using the ball, the kettlebell, the weights. Grab a sweat towel, grab water, okay? I'll be right back. You ready? March it. Let's warm up this body. Take everything at your level, in your pace, side to side, step tap. Step tap. Hamstring curls. With your arms, you're doing double arm rows. Shoulders stay down. Keep it moving. Take every exercise at your level and your pace. Listen for the modifications and progressions. Tap it out. Moving shoulder. Press. Reach. Let's warm up the shoulders. And that core. Now a little jab. Rotate. 
Engage your powerhouse. Navel to your spine. Reach front. Front raise. Four more. Three. Two more. Knee lifts alternate. Reach up. Reach up. Come on. Let's rev up this body. Four more each leg. Two. One. Side to side squats. Or basic squats in place. Side to side. Step it out. Sit down and back. Make sure your posture is correct. The belly's pulled in. Moving side to side squats. Four more each direction. Three. Two more. Keep our eyes on Jesus. That's our theme today, right? Forward bend. It should be our theme every single day. Belly in. Straight spine. Knees are soft. Shoulders down. Let's finish this race strong. Maintain your focus. Four more. Three. One more. Wide stance. Side to side. Window arms ready. Reach down. Side to side. You can also modify. Stay up. Bring the arm out and across. Sit down and sit back in those heels. And in your glutes and hip flexors, take the pressure off your knees. Four to go. One more. One side. Pulse. Pulse. Core engaged. Arms out. Pulse. Head and neck stay neutral. Opposite. Lateral lunge. Your pulse. 
rounds of each exercise, okay? So this is our first exercise for cardio, the ball and the bell. One more. That was two minutes, good. Second exercise. Walk down plank, walk back up. Ready? Let's go out. Plank, walk back. Arms up. Walk it out. Hold. Walk back. And again. Shoulders down. Bottom stays down. Breathe. If you want to replace this one, like if you physically cannot do this one today, continue with your double swings, okay? Core's engaged. Walk out. Hold. Walk it back. Reach up. Belly pulled in. That's our first minute. Navel to the spine. Maintain your focus on Jesus Christ. Allow him to strengthen you in every part of your life. Shoulders, core, legs. X on that walkout. Hold. Walk it back. And again, we have one more. And last one. Next exercise is for the core. It's two minutes. It's a forearm plank. You can do stand up, side lanes, rotations, anything else. All the way down on the forearms. All right, modification on the knees. Pull the belly in. Elbows directly under your shoulders. Shoulders pressed down. Progression. Extend those legs and hold. All right, I need you to breathe here. Keep the head neutral. Pull in. Scripture verse. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Focus. On Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes directly on Him. Keep your attention directed in Him. Don't get distracted. So you have that choice or not. You don't have to get distracted. Breathe. That was past one minute right there. We're holding this for two minutes. Fine, you can do this. You're doing great. Shoulders down. Release your fingers. Under 30 seconds. Notice your breathing, your posture, your alignment, your heart. Lower down, stretch out. Carefully come up. We're going to do that round all over again. Stability ball or kettlebell. First exercise, just bouncing with nice control. Keep that core engaged. You can stay right here. You can keep it low. You can bring those arms out. Like you're passing the ball, you can bring the feet off that floor. You can power up. Totally up to you, okay? Your choice, your level. You do what's best for you today. So first minute on the stability ball, okay? Then we're changing to the kettlebell or just one basic weight. You may be doing kettlebell right now or swinging your weight. Four, three, two, one. Off that ball. 
just a little soft, or you can bend as much as you want. Heart rate should be going up. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Those arms should come up fairly easy. You should be using your hips and your glutes. Three more. One more. Fell down. Second exercise, walk out plank, walk back, or choose to continue with your swings. Let's go. Walk out, plank hold, walk it back, and up. Bring it back, reach up. Exhale, let you go out. Come on, using your total body, all these muscles. Make sure that bottom goes down once you're in that plank. Then bring it back. Exhale on that walkout. You can replace this. Continue your swing. You can march in place. Move side to side. A lot of legs. A lot of upper body in this one. And core strength, of course. Under one minute to go. Come on, keep it going. Again, protect your back and your spine. Navel to your spine. Reach up. Exhale. Feel that in your legs, hips, glutes, shoulders, chest, core. Last one. And up. Next exercise, core. All the way down. Forearm plank. Two minutes. Modification on your knees. Progression. Flicks in your legs. I need you to breathe here. We need to keep our eyes focused. Keep Jesus. Read the word. Know what his word says about you. His word says that you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. And that we need to finish this race strong. Shoulders down. This is the last exercise in this round. Each exercise being two minutes long. You rest when you need to. You do the amount that you need to do. Relax those fingers a little bit. Make sure the head and the neck stay in neutral alignment with the rest of our spine. Pull that belly in. Breathe. Shoulders down. We're almost there. Come on, you can do this. I know it's a challenge, but you can do this. Come on. God is with you as your eyes are focused in on him. We can't do it in our own strength. Not even a plank. But we're using the strength of the Lord in this. All right, exhale, stretch out of it. Slowly come up. All right, transitioning. Next round of exercises on the ball. Jumping jacks, starting right here. One leg out at a time to modify or arm stretch. 
it's going to stay right there. Keep that core, that foundation strong. You know, we really need to study how Jesus did things on earth. Study how he responded to people. How he acted out his faith. How he prayed. He never lost sight. He never lost sight of where he was headed. We've got one minute to go. He kept his eyes focused on God the entire time. Even when he was being beaten and spit upon and cursed at by his own people, he kept his eyes focused on where he was headed. Under 30 seconds. Come on. We can do this. God will help us as we exercise and as we apply his word to our life. Two more. One more. All right. Going back to the kettlebell, the double clean press. You can also use a weight. Four, three, two, one. Hinge forward. Bring it up. Squat. Press. You can also swing the bell if you want through the legs. Then press up. Hinge. Again, real important, core's engaged. Stay back in your heels. Double clean press. Shoulders and lats. Legs. Heart rate should be up. You should notice it. Again, keep it moving. I like this round. Some rounds I like better than others. I really love working with the stability ball and the kettlebell. One minute to go. If you need to take a little break, you take it, okay? After this complete round, we're going to do a water break. After we complete our chops, that's coming up next for the obliques. Exhale on that press, inhale as you lower, mouth open. How does it feel to your spine and back when you hinge forward? You should be feeling this in your glutes and hips and hamstring muscles on that hinge, not the back. Check it out. We're almost there. Last one. Now going back to the chop, we bring back the squat and rotate. You can keep it low, modification, you can bring it higher and higher. But here's the thing, is your posture correct? Are you doing it correct? Are you engaged? Are you focused? Maintain your focus. Most of my accidents occur in life when I'm not paying attention. Silly things like tripping over something that I didn't see on the floor. Stepping wrong so I'm not focused on my walk. You know what I'm saying? Swing. Sit down and sit back with the heels and glutes. One more. Let's switch our sides. Chop. Modification. You bring it where you want to bring it, okay? Where you need to bring it today. Step up to the challenge. Nice, strong legs. Strong core and arms. Exhale on that swing up. Again, just not going through the motions. Staying with it. Being present in the moment with God, with your body, heart, spirit. Know what's going on around you. We need 
You know, we're not fighting against one another or people. The Word of God says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, we're fighting against principalities. That Satan and his demons. Things that we can't see. He's using people as his puppets. He's a great puppet master. Just pulling people's strings. Getting their focus off of Christ. And onto the situation. Getting them all revved up. For all the wrong reasons. Let's take a step. If Satan can get our eyes off Jesus. His work has been good that day, right? If you can maintain your focus on Jesus through it all, you're doing good, all right? Okay, here we go. Going back to the ball. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Okay, so we're going back to the ball. So what I'm doing with this is we're basically doing a squat right here. So I'm going to bring my arms way up land as softly as I can or bring my arms out. So if you don't have a wall, you can do a squat and a jump. Let me show it to you. Keep going on the ball if you've got it. All right? So what you're going to do is squat, jump in, jump out, right? All right, so make do with whatever you got or don't have. Now, plyometric move, you can jump up, leave the floor, make sure you've got some good cushion. All right, I've got a mat, a pretty thick mat under me that's cushioning if I'm jumping. It's helping me with that impact. Make sure you're not doing jumps on concrete, okay? Make sure that floor has a little give. Wooden floor is perfect, or some cushion under your feet like a mat. All right, keep going. Again, you can try those jumps. You can alternate them and do them every fourth, fifth, eighth time. Use your legs. Yeah. All right, we're almost there. All right, put the stability ball away. Grab one weight or your kettlebell. Opposite arm out that's not holding the bell or on the hip. Step out with your opposite leg from the bell or weight crossover, single row back. Modify, step, row. Progression, lower lunge. Power out of the heel as you come up. Land your heel as you lower down. Then push out a bit to bring your body back up. Make sure we're not losing good posture through our midsection. Keep the chest up and your shoulders up. Single rows with a front lunge. All right, we're switching legs. That went by fast. That was one minute. Step lunge. I'm showing modification right here. Hand on the hip. Step front. Row back. Progression. Crossover lunge. Make sure that front knee is back. Stay back in your heel. Back foot, knee is straight ahead. So it's not at a strange angle or anything. Lower down, pull in. Exhale as you come up. I love these, actually. I can feel them in the glutes, legs, throughout that arm and core. And again, core is coming up. And we're bringing it down. All right, changing things up. One more, and one. On your floor, inner thigh, bring that one leg out here on your forearm, okay? Hand back behind the head, elbow knee, elbow knee, crunch. 
bothers your body, do your inner thigh lifts instead, okay? You can stay down here, inner thigh, I call these inner thigh crunches. You can stay up. strengthen it. 
It's not something I wake up and go, woo, can't wait to work out. It's not like that for me. One more. All right. Now, circling back around to those lovely inner thigh crunches, or you can just keep those inner thighs going. So keeping it right here, maintaining good posture anytime you cross over. You're working the obliques. Lift up if you want more of a challenge. You don't have to though, you know that. I wouldn't pressure anyone to do these. But I would say, are you moving your body in a way that will challenge it today and get it stronger for God's purposes? Whether you want to or not, one more. Shouldn't really make a difference. All right? All right, lift and lower. Again, inner thigh, we're on the opposite side. Elbow is under that shoulder, okay? We're pulling in through that belly. Or we're lifting up. If that bothers your knees, I need you to stay down. Exhale. Come on, we can do this. Four, three, two, and one. Shake your legs out. All right, we're taking a sip of water again. We're at 42 minutes, okay? You know, you can replay this workout anytime. I'm leaving this up in this Facebook group, okay? I would love for you lovely ladies, I'm just now kind of starting the YouTube page. I would love for you to check out my YouTube page and subscribe to it, which is free, just click on it. I've never tried to expand YouTube at all, all right? So I'm just going to try it with the help of the Lord. I'm not too worried about how many people click likes or not, but I'm just putting it out there, okay? Because really it's not about that. It's about hearing the Word of God, living the Word of God, letting it activate and allowing Jesus to save us, right? Okay. Next round of exercises, single swings. So I'm going to bring the legs out a little bit wider. You can use a bell or a weight. I'm bringing this arm out. You can place it here if you wanted to modify. So modification, again, there's that deadlift position. And we know we've got to keep real good form. Inhale lower. Gotta make sure I don't hit my light. That's up there. Step it back. And you know, I'm not set up like a professional YouTuber with a great studio, all these great lights. I'm just bringing this to you from my home in the front entryway of my house because I feel like God has wanted me to do this, right? So we can work out together. No frills, right? Just uh, come as you are. No makeup. If you want to wear makeup, great. Switch. If I wore makeup in these workouts and I was working out like this, I would sweat it all off, that's for sure. Lower down. Bring it up so I'm not trying to impress anyone, okay? I want to bring these exercises and I want to bring you the Word of God. All right, that's my assignment. Let's go. All right, that core is strong. Belly's pulled in. Again, you're in that hinge position. Really working the hip flexors a lot today and the glutes and hamstring muscles. Of course, these arms and this core getting a great workout. 
Two more of these. One more. All right. Next exercise. So this is, oh yeah, I like this one. 30 seconds. Let me start my music over. Hold on.
mixture up there. Hopefully I'm not going to knock the wall back behind me. Alright, single swing. This should keep your heart rate up. Again, we've got to make sure we're doing it correctly. Scripture out of the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2. Maintain your focus. Don't get distracted. Keep looking straight ahead. Don't look to the left or to the right. Have awareness of what's going on around you so you know how to pray in the spirit. You know how to battle in the spirit. Because we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but we're fighting against principalities and darkness. Satan and his demons. Really. He'll use people as his puppets. He'll pull those strings and they don't know any different. They think they're right. Okay? Come on. Lower down and up. Aren't reading the word, how can they know who Jesus Christ is and that He came to save them? One more switch. Now, I do believe with all my heart that God pursues us. All right, so as people that are unbelievers, I do believe, and the word says that God pursues us, He'll come knocking on the heart. He will. And it's up to us if we're going to let him in or not. And then, when you do accept him in, it's up to us to learn more, to gain wisdom and knowledge by reading the word. Before we read the word, we were really acting out in our own emotions or ignorance, right? But once we get that word in us, we know the truth, and it sets us free. We're supposed to be praying for those who don't believe. We're supposed to be warring in the spirit and praying. One more. And last one. Okay. Going back to the bent fly with the kickbacks, okay? Inch forward. Two reverse flies. Come up. Kick back, knee drive, kick back, knee drive, and go back to it. Keep that core engaged. Maintain focus on your physical body. Make sure it's doing the exercise correctly. That's real important. We'll get injured if we take our focus off of Jesus. We'll get injured in our physical bodies. When we take the focus off of these muscles in alignment. Again, you don't have to do a gazillion exercises to get the body in shape. You have to do them correctly, okay? That's the key. Reverse flies. Knee drop. Kick back. We're under one minute left to go on this one. Reverse fly. Kick back, kick back. Stay back in the heels in that bent position. Shoulders down. Come on. You know, our bodies, our flesh doesn't want to do the right thing. It really doesn't most of the time. But our spirit does. So a lot of times... In my daily walk with the Lord, I ask Him to take me over by His Holy Spirit. And then sometimes I envision myself driving in the car, and I release the will to the Lord. Like, I get out of the driver's seat, and I get over in the passenger seat. I kind of visualize that, like, Teresa, are you trying to control this? Or are you allowing God? to direct this, you know? And that helps me a lot. Let's let God be in the driver's seat. We be in the passenger seat, right? And again, kick back, kick back. Over, bent row. Good. And again, bring those arms out. Said bent row, I really meant bent 
here. Next exercise on the floor, single leg stretch. With or without your chest flies, you can also do shoulder press. We do a combo on this one. Modified legs or higher. I'm making sure my hand cannot go underneath my low back. I want my back down, okay? Check it out. So test yourself. So lower the legs. Make sure that low back staying down. Starting with a press, arms up, press, rotate, fly. Press, rotate, and fly out. Again, another combo here. Shoulders, chest, core, and legs. Press, fly. Low back stays down. Make sure that it's down. Your belly's pulled in. And sometimes you need that head elevated for exercises like this. I noticed since I got a bun this morning instead of a ponytail, I probably need more elevation behind the head. A lot of times I wear a ponytail right in the back of the head to give me that elevation when I'm lying down. Inhale. Fly. Press, fly, under a minute, fly it out, press, and fly. Again, navel to the spine, maintaining our focus on this race we're in. Pray, all times. Ask God how you should pray. He will show you what's going on around you. Pray into that. Pray over that. Don't get distracted. Don't get sucked into the crowd. Come on. Separate yourself. Last one. And one. Good. Draw your knees in. Back stretch. Rock a little bit side to side. Give your body a full stretch out. Reach and stretch. All right, we worked the hips a lot today, the upper lower. So I want to do this Superman stretch. Let me angle it a little bit. All right, so I'm going to stack my hands to modify. Separate the legs, palms down, pull the belly in. So I'm just going to easily lift off the floor and back down. Giving that spine a nice little stretch here. Lift and lower. Keeping the head and neck neutral. Reach. Just where I'm feeling this in the low back. No pain. Just stretching. Five more. Two to go. And one. Stretch out fully. Bring these arms back behind you, palms up. Lift those shoulders off your floor. Hold. If you want to lace the fingers, do that. And hold. Breathe. Transition to the back again. We work the hips a lot. So let's do a hip flexor stretch carefully. Cross one leg over, chest stretched, palms stacked, back behind the head. If that bothers you, separate the hands. Hold right here. Now, if you want, lift up, hold. And then from here, progression, lift that opposite leg up. Come in, don't force it, bring your legs in towards you. Not to lie all the way down. You can place the hands back behind the opposite leg. Bring that leg in, hold, and breathe. Lower down, switch out, and hold that hip flexor stretch. You can reach those arms over the head. Bring the hands back behind the head. Low back stays down. You can lift up, hold, 
and your hip flexors and thighs. You can also take the hands back behind that opposite leg hold, and you can lie it down as well. Both legs up, hamstring stretch, supporting the legs if you want. Or just reach those arms up. Hold right here. Lift up and hold. Again, if you want to reach now towards your calves, do that. Draw your knees in. Lower down back stretch. Feet on the floor. Arms over the head. We're going to rock up. Exhale up. All the way up. I hope you enjoyed the workout today. I love the different um, things that we use, the kettlebell, the weights for a little bit, and then the stability ball. I pray you have a blessed weekend. I pray you maintain your focus on Jesus Christ because that's what's most important, okay? Thank you for allowing me in your home.